Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplay. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Saracen Zero, and today I'm joined by Asia Wolf, Blind Oracle, Longfish, and Fear No Equal. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the fifth encounter clearing out a diabolical cult, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items, and hand. I am currently at 125 out of 126 hit points. I have my Staff of the Python and Shield plus one in hand. I have four level one, one level two, three level three, and three level four spell slots remaining, and both charges of my channel divinity. 159 of 159 hit points. I have a Great Axe plus two in hand. My second wind, action surge, and still have my indomitable available. 109 out of 109. I have my wand of the war mage plus one. Wand of magic missiles with two charges remaining. I have four level first level slots, three level two slots, one third level slot, three fourth, two fifth, one sixth. 132 out of 134 hit points holding a plus one short bow. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. It's been an hour later because they took a short rest, so larger and more terrifying fiends have been summoned here. There is a bone devil that stands before you. He is a large fiend. They have a fly speed of 40. They have fiendish resistances, so cold, mundane, and unsilvered weapons, fire, and poison are immunities. They have passive perception of 12, so that's fun. They have magic resistance. They have multi-attack with two claws and a sting that does extra poison damage, which is fun. If it hits you, then you have to make a constitution save versus the poison condition. How do we all feel about that? Mmm, tasty. Just another Monday. This room also holds four or Incubus and Succubus varieties. Incubus and Succubus have fly speed of 60. They have what we'll call this fiend light resistances, so they resist cold fire, lightning poison, and non-magical weapon damage. Passive perception of 15, so the rogue don't care. They can claw, and they can charm for a DC 15 wisdom save, or the target is charmed for a day. The charmed target obeys the fiend's verbal or telepathic commands. If it succeeds on any of the saving throws, it is immune to this fiend's charm, meaning you will need to keep track of each of the charms. If they kiss a charmed target, they can do a whole bunch of psychic damage with a draining kiss. They can also go ethereal as an action. So that's what's going on here. Terrain. Terrain is quite familiar. You have a pile of dead bodies that are difficult terrain. You've got some benches and shelving units that are difficult terrain. You've got some impassable terrain of the walls around you. This should look quite familiar to everybody. This is an interior space with a 15-foot roof. Did not come up last time. The little round decorative bits, someone of small stature could hide behind those, I assume. Absolutely. Perfect. Tactics. What do you guys think for tactics in this fight? Hide in the corner to our south? If we can, we should cork them up in there and AoE them. Yes. Especially because that would allow the squishies to hide in the corner to the south or the north. Yeah, we can try that. But they all fly, so... Sure, but, you know, if they have to fly through spirit guardians, it's still gonna suck. Do you want me to try to control some of them, maybe? Or just go for the AoE right out the gate? I think go for the AoE. I think the hardest CC here is death. One of you have the Dust of Invisibility, right? I do, and I'm actually thinking about using both that and the Dust of Sneezing and Choking. If we get the advantage here, and if I can go before them, I'm going to disappear us all. If I can get in among them while disappeared or not, I'm going to try and, and sneeze and choke and disable a whole bunch of them. But I don't think that either of those is a reliable plan until we know what our initiative is. So, If the initiative goes right, can we try the I cast Spirit Guardian, you invisible me? If the initiative goes right. All righty then. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> well, it was a good plan, guys. <laughs> Anybody have higher than a 20? 23. Who's got between a 20 and a 15? 16 on the owl. Who's got between a 15 and a 10? 14 for the rogue. I've got a 10 on the fiends. 10 on the cleric. And I'm missing a fighter. What do you got for me? Six. Mm. As my post dressed action, I'm handing my dust of disappearance to someone else. Too late. Wizard, you're up first. Fun, fun, fun. I think they're 150 feet from me, right? Probably. I'm going to sculpt around my friends here and aim for the Bone Devil and Chain Lightning. So anything that's 30 feet, it's going to jump. Tell me about it. You have a DC 17 dex save. Okay, pass with a 20. Or take half. 
your damage is going to be 50. So the guy in the middle is going to take 25. Three bolts then leap from that target to as many as three other targets. Who are we going after? Oh, let's go one and two. Hit that north one. The double and the north one? Yeah. And they're going to get plus three, and I need a 17, so I need to roll a 14. One is going to fail and take 50. Number two is going to fail and take 50. And number four going to pass and take 25. Zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. Anything else? Move southwest in that hole. After that, we're going to go to the owl. 11 to target. Yeah, 11 would keep him in there because he wouldn't be able to get away at that point. Put him north of me and then we'll go from there. After the owl, we're going to go to the rogue. We're going to bonus action, hide behind the cleric, and then we're going to shoot over the cleric's shoulder at the bone devil. Oh, there's the crit. You did it! I did. I did. 14 dice later. 53 points of damage. That's my turn. After the rogue, we're going to go to... We're going to go after the wizard. She's going to fly over here and try to charm you. Give me a DC 15 wisdom save versus charm. You have advantage for a number of reasons. Advantage because I'm an elf and advantage because of that. First one is an 18. You pass. Go ahead and note that you are immune to number two. Okay. This one's going to fly over here and give me another DC 15 wisdom save versus charm. That is 15 on the head. I've dropped the one. You're now immune to number three. Give me a DC 15 wisdom save versus charm. Uh, a one and a 17. And that'll pass. Whew. Dude, I am skating by. <laughs> That's two ones in a row. <laughs> and another DC 15 wisdom save versus charm. Oh, good lord. 19. All right, you're going to pass. And you're immune to all of them now. I don't want the fighter going anywhere, so I'm going to use my 10-foot reach. We're going to dash because we have to. After that, we're going to go to the longfish. Put me diagonal two squares directly behind the two fiends. Eat an oppy. Decline the opportunity attack. Okay. I will cast Spirit Guardian at level four. And add turn there. After that, we're going to go to the fear. I'm going to go crazy on the bone devil. Step into him. Attack number one. 26 to hit. Hits. 18 damage. Attack number two, 17 to hit. That misses. Attack number three, 27 to hit. Hits. For 17 damage. Gonna action surge. Attack number four, 22 to hit for 14 damage. Attack number five. Ew, that's gonna miss. That's a three. Attack number six, 24 to hit for 14 damage. One hit point in a dream, baby. And that'll be it for me. After the fear is the Asia Wolf. You got this, buddy. It's a party over here. Shatter. DC <laughs> 17 con, level four. Shout at them really loudly. And that'll hit those sculpting around yourself. Sounds good. 24. 24 or 12. Succubus number one is going to fail and drop. Succubus number two is going to fail and drop. Succubus number three is going to fail and take 24. And succubus number four is going to fail and take 24. Cool. Anything else? No, I'm good. After that, we're going to go to the Owl. Let's move Duke Allenton in there and give advantage to the one just south of the Cleric for the Cleric, actually. And then flies out here. After the Owl, we're going to go to the Blind Oracle. So you're holding that oppie for me, huh? <laughs> I was not. I was holding it to make sure the fighter didn't run south. Okay. Because I didn't want him to schwack all my succubuses. And it kind of worked. It didn't go south, so. Oh, I think this went south for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really need to worry about this. Let's just shoot the bone devil. Walk over to him and blow gently on him. Hmm? He's got one HP and he's in the zone. Oh, never mind. I don't need to shoot him. You're right. Shoot the succubus. It's in the wizard's face. 17 to hit? 17 hits. 23 points of damage. I don't really want to stand there. <laughs> Bonus action to use those fancy shoes. Now I have a move speed of 50, and you have disadvantage on the attack of opportunity. Just straight to the other side. Here's the attack. He's going to get a 15 to hit you. That will miss. After the blind oracle, we're going to go to the bone devil. Bone devil starts to turn off in the zone. Give me some damage. Spirit guardian for 21 damage. He gets an 18. He takes half of that and drops. This succubus starts off in the zone. 18. They fail. 18 points of damage. Oh, one hit point in dream. We got this. We're going to do this. We're going to go ethereal. The next one is the other succubus. The other succubus gets a 19. Pass, so 17 halves to 8. And he is also going to go ethereal, which I now realize is not going to be helpful. After that, we're going to go to the longfish. Uh, huh. I have dodge and turn. Fear no equal. Stand next to Cleric and prepare to attack the first enemy that I see. After that, we're going to go to the Asia Wolf. I'm going to concentrate on Ray of Frost on the first enemy I see appear. How? He's good up there. Just dodge. Blind Oracle. Move into the circle next to the Cleric. 
I would like to ready an action to shoot the first succubus that appears. Bonus action, throw down a hunting trap in the square in front of the fighter. The succubus is going to walk through the ethereal plane, and her action is going to be to reappear. The other succubus is going to do the exact same thing. All right, that's their actions. After that, we're going to go to the longfish. Dash me towards the incubus. I think I can land on the far side of them. And, and turn there. Great, fear. Well, that'll change things. I will dash to next to the cleric. After that, we're going to go to the Azure Wolf. Yeah, I'm going to go at the diagonal until I get in the range of one of them. Ray of Frost. The one out of cover? Well, cover really doesn't matter, but yes. Ooh, that's a, a nat 20. 38. 38 points of damage. They take half, so that'll be 19, and that is lethal. I'm going to wipe my forehead because I'm tired <laughs> at this point. After the Azure Wolf is the <laughs> owl. Go in and let's give that rogue advantage and get away. And then the blind oracle. Walk over, shoot the remaining succubus with advantage. 27 to hit. Yep. 24 damage. Dead. God, that was a bad roll. It had one hit point. All you had to do was connect. I, you know, hey. <laughs> Report hit points. Oddly enough, I'm still at 109. 132 <laughs> of 134. 125 of 126. 159 of 159. Any post-encounter actions? Recover the hunting trap. Yep. I will use my last second level spell slot and warding bond the fighter again. Warding bond the fighter, okay. The full extent of the ritual has been determined, and all that is left is to see what was summoned by all of these bodies. The adventure is going to continue onward to the next room and see what is going to meet them there. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I will see you next time.